didn't take long to get the poncho out. I got to the uh, top of the Grinsbrook steps as you just come onto Grinsbrook fully down there. And the heavens opened. It got heavy and then slackened off a bit and it's just on and off kind of thing now. Yeah, so we are heading up. You can see behind me, up the nab. Uh, we're going to get around the back of Ringing Roger. Um, hopefully get some water from Jagger's Clough. Uh, and then a little bit further along the edge path uh, and then head into the middle to uh, Mad Woman Stones. And that's, that's the plan. Uh, it's going to be cold tonight. The forecast is for three degrees and that's not feels like that is actually three degrees. Um, you know, so I've got my big sleeping bag, my winter sleeping bag. So the Mad Woman Stones. No one knows why they called it. Everyone always says that when they're here. There's uh, some biggish stones just here. And then there's like a group of stones around here, which could almost be a stone circle. But they aren't. I don't know if you can see, but on just below the sun at the top of the, uh, the moor there, is the trig point that I've visited before. That's probably going to be my route home tomorrow. I'm probably going to go back to the edge path, uh, walk along uh, until the path goes across to join the trig. <laughs> Can't see a blooming thing. <laughs> That's a fire steel. Not that piddly little thing I had last time. That one, compared with that one. And it proper spits fire. Kev, I apologise. I know I'm not doing it right. But that kick sparks. That's fantastic. That's that lit that no problem. So I've got me curry in my in my bag in there in water boiling. Made a cup of tea. I've made some tomato soup. Got changed into me uh, my warmer gear. Um, so I'm just going to have these drinks. This is um, Brew Werridge Keys Pastry Train White Lady. And my good lady got me this. Uh, Tracy went to Hebden Bridge couple of weeks ago and I said I'll oh, call in at that shop and get me a couple of beers. 12%. Now uh, it did worry me then it said white lady so let's have a look. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Pure and craft, that is what Master Brewer, Kurtz. <laughs> Bubba Man, owner of Brew Werridge Keys, stands for. Together with his familiar team, Keys brews his surprising beers with bold flavours. The beers are of the best possible and consistent quality. doesn't tell me much about it so I don't know why it's called White Lady. Uh, it's a multi stout. Hides the 12% very well. It's a nice beer. Cheers. So I've got uh, myself a 
chicken tikka masala curry. Uh, I got the tin, put the tin inside a mala bag, sealed it, uh, and that's then inside the fire maple. Water's boiling, so it's going to heat that, and then I'll use the boiled water to make my buttery mash. Lovely stuff. Uh, and it's going in this container. Uh, just that's that's it for tonight, just a sort of bog standard uh, meal. I've got a couple of beers to have, I'm going to have those two drinks. Then I'm battening down the hatches because it's going to be a really cold night tonight. Uh, the forecast is for three degrees, that's actual temperature. So um, yeah, I will be getting myself warm. I've got my wet socks off, put my seal skins on but they're still a bit chilly. Um, so I'm going to be getting everything sealed up. Luckily it's not going to be windy. Uh, and I think the forecast originally was wind because I was going to get bring me drone, but I said, no, don't take your drone. So I left it this time. Um, you know, probably could have brought it. Trig. I can just hear in the distance a helicopter and all those white bales there are what they're delivering. Planting uh, some plug plants, uh, some heathers and mosses I think, as well as temporarily fertilizers and growing medium to continue restoring uh, the, the kinder. Good example of a peat pipe. Look at that beast. So this fence is marked on the map, uh, a linear feature. So you don't know if there's going to be a wall or what kind of boundary or even a wall that's just a few stones left. Uh, but I use it to navigate from the trig point. 